So if you have a multinomial variable and you'd like to calculate the expected value in the standard deviation, we can build a simple model for something like that. Uh, so if you look at it, um, and, and you could have this in data too, so you could have like 15 twos over here, then 21 threes, etc. cetera. Um, so we could unroll this data as well. Um, but if you were working at a, at a department store of some kind that sells like uh, washing machines, you can look at how many washers we sell each day. So 15 of the days we sold two washers, 21 of the days we sold three washers, etc. We can figure out what the expected value and standard deviation of, a, of sales per day is um, by building um, our simple counts table, calculating the percent of times each of these things happened, um, and then using the multinomial formulas uh, to, to figure out what the distribution is here. Um, so first we'll calculate e of x because it is part of the function of the standard deviation. So we need e of x first. So our expected value, um, so e of x uh, over here is just the sum, right? So the sum of the xi's times the pi's, and I've marked those out here. xi is just our observation. So, you know, each day we take an observation of how many washers we sold. And then uh, pi is the probability that that thing happens. And we have 119 days that have given us this probability distribution. Uh, more data, this might shift some, but uh, that's okay. So uh, we literally can just go equals here in F6. It just equals C6 times E6, and we don't want to lock anything because we then want to do C7, E7, C8, E8, just multiply down. So we want that to float uh, down to here. So for each of our 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, our possible outcomes, we calculate um, Xi times the Pi, and then it says sum those up. So I'm just going to go down here into the totals and hit all equals uh, and sum those things up. And there you go, our average washers per day is 4.91. So let's go boop. Okay. Okay. So our average there is 4.91. Now we want to do the standard deviation. Now we can do this in one step or you can break it into pieces. Uh, it's kind of up to you and what makes sense. I like to do it in one piece. Uh, I'll do it both ways and we'll get the same answer. Um, uh, so if we break it into pieces, we have to do first is do first what's in the parentheses, then we'll have to square it, and then multiply by pi, drag that down, and then sum them up, take the square root of the end. So you can break it into pieces like that. So we can do xi minus e of x, then uh, xi minus e of x uh, squared. Um, oops, um, do the parentheses. Uh, then we would need pi times xi minus e of x squared. Uh, and then we'll sum all those up and take the square root. So xi minus e of x is first part. So again, I've already marked xi, so it's just this minus e of x, which we calculated from here. So we just mi minus that. And that is going to be locked because there's only one e of x. There's several xi. There's only one e of x. Generally, when you see an i, you let that float. When you don't see an i, you don't. Okay. So we do that. Then we want to square all those. So now we have xi minus e of x. We want the square of each of those. And the caret mark is shift 6 is square. So uh, shift 6, 2 will square g6. Or if you really um, want to, you can also do g6 times g6. We'll do the same thing. So either one of those is fine, but the little caret mark is the exponent in uh, Excel. So we square all those, and we want to take the probability times each of these xi minus e of x squared. So again, we have this piece. Now we just want to add the pi to it. So pi times this. And again, those can all float. And then we want to sum all of those up. Um, Equals sum that up, and then we want to take the square root of the square root of the result. So just collect that, and now we have our distribution. We saw an average 4.91 washers per day, with a standard deviation of about two washers. Again, if you don't want to break it into pieces like this, if you're comfortable with mathematical notation, we can just go straight to pi times xi minus e of x. 
squared, um, and we can just follow just follow the mathematical notation pi times parentheses xi minus e of x. Again, we calculated that here, and that needs to be log squared. So if you just do that, you'll get the same result here. Um, drag that down, sum them up, take the square root. You'll get all the same number. So if you if you do understand the mathematical notation, you can look at this. Uh, then you can just build it in one go. But anyway, that's how we do a multinomial model, uh, and that'll give us the distribution of a multinomial.